Now to this. The National Association of Child Care Workers is taking a unique approach to engage children during South African Protection with South African Child Protection Week, that is. It's using mapping in its programs to empower children to visually express their experiences of being safe. Well, in this way, they give their perspective on being protected against child abuse and neglect. So for more details on this, we are joined now by Nontobe Gomlambo, Project Coordinator at the National Association of Child Care Workers. Nontobe, a very good morning to you. You know, oftentimes it's said that, especially when it comes to child abuse or child neglect, children find it very difficult to be able to express themselves, especially the younger that they are, um, the perhaps even given the environment, a lot of them are not empowered enough. They have not necessarily found their voice to say, I am in trouble, I do need help, I do need somebody to intervene and you guys have introduced mapping as a way to actually get that expression just talk to us a little bit about how it works thank you for my uh, thank you so much for actually having me as the national association of child and youth care workers using child and youth care workers we actually developed an activity called mapping which allows children to map out with the focus of child protection week the focus is basically on children mapping out their communities, their safe spaces within the communities, the places that are not safe and the places that actually bring about worry in in, 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 in terms of children. So therefore, by having this um, mapping activity, it actually allows us children to express their emotions and also bring about issues that might have happened or they might have seen their um, peers um, a, a, actually partaking in such so it also allows us us as child and youth care workers for a way to also actually um, intervene in many ways through community-based organizations through intervention using uh, community leaders as well as SAPs and all other people that are um, involved when dealing with children so that activity actually assisted with such issues as as um, child protection week is upon us Nontobego, this conversation would have to start from the home, right? How then do I even start that conversation with my child who is, is still in, I would, I would say, their formative years? You know, they're still in their foundation phase years, and that is usually some of the most vulnerable children. How do I even start that kind of conversation, which already it's incredibly hard for an adult? Okay, uh, because we have child and youth care workers based at a school level, they deal with child protection issues at all levels. So these are trained, qualified child and youth care workers who are able to intervene and interact with learners at a young age. Especially at a young age, I would say um, they are the ones that actually respond positively to such activities. And they are able to map out as much as you would think at this age, they aren't able to actually articulate themselves enough um, when issues of safety is concerned. However, when such activities are brought in, because it's not just only a fun activity, but it's an activity that also makes them aware of their surroundings and their environments. So by having child and youth care workers there who are trained and who are able to actually um, speak to the learner or the child at the level that they best understand, I would say that actually works positively and um, is actually good in that sense. I want to talk a little bit about the child and youth care workers as you're saying that they're in different schools. Unfortunately, South Africa is yes. facing a reality here where a lot of kids, I mean, just statistics have to go, a lot of children have either died by suicide because they were either raped or they were being bullied at, mm -hmm. at school. And these are also young children or the kids themselves have died by knives because they, between themselves, are involved in youth fights. Now, had there been youth care workers, and um, I remember a time when I was in school where we used to have counselors, school counselors in school, so that we are able then to articulate ourselves and to share our feelings. The biggest concern in South Africa is that they do not extend far enough. These child and youth care workers are mostly in these private schools or semi-private schools, the schools in the, in the cities, but go to the rural areas, go to the peri-urban areas, Areas, then you've got a significant lack when it comes to that capacity to support even children. Hence why we found stories time and time again where kids are bullied, kids commit suicide, uh, and, and kids get raped and abused within that context. Okay. In the ECBND program that we are in, we are in reach of over 78 schools. And the schools that we are in are your Quantil 2 and Quantil 3 schools, which um, I would say gives provision for, I would say, the non-private non or non-semi-private schools. So we also reach there. And the um, 
the reach is determined by not only us as an organization but also in in line with the um, the department of uh, education where when we are in line with them it also allows us to actually infiltrate or intervene in schools that have shown to have such is social issues such as your teenage pregnancy your substance abuse and all of the other issues that you've just mentioned so um we are actually in schools that are not private so i would say that <laughs>